Yes, sir. Uh, yes, I have you done for 8 p.m. Party of four. Yes, all right. We'll see you then. Okay. Hello, Chez Papillon. Hi, yeah, I have a reservation for two, but I, I'd like to make that a reservation for one instead. <laughs> Under Schmidt. Uh, uh, all right, sir. I've updated your reservation, Mr. Schmidt. Thanks, thanks. Do you have a, a, a dress code? Uh, yes. Uh, no jeans or t-shirts. Okay, oh, and uh, one more question, very important. What's your blanket policy? <laughs> Like, let's just say I'm having a bit of a day, and I wrap myself in a, in a very warm and safe blanket. Is, is that okay with the rules of your establishment? Uh, no, I'm afraid we're fairly strict about formal attire, sir. Right, no, no, I, I will be in formal attire, but I'd like to wear a blanket over it. That is just not the answer I was hoping for. See, I'm an extremely rich man who's having a very bad day. My cat is sick. I, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, she has a feline cold. The doctor says she's congested, and frankly, I believe it. <laughs> Oh yeah, she will, she will. She's taking some medicine, and in the meantime, it's, it's just sad to see her so congested. Oh, you know what would really pick me up? Eating at your restaurant in my blanket. Do you think that can be arranged? No, sir. Perhaps if you don't want to be without your blanket, you should order delivery instead. No! As much as I care about Jasmine, I just need my space right now. Jasmine is my cat, not my girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. That reservation for two I had was actually for me and Jasmine's veterinarian, in case you were wondering. I was not. Yeah, I was gonna take him out for dinner in exchange for cat meds, but then he canceled because he had to do a lung transplant. Gross! Hey, you know, this is a really nice blanket. You know, if anything, it might be too formal for your establishment. I'm sure that it's not. Oh, well, I guess you're a pretty fancy joint, huh? With fancy little forks. Uh, yes, we have salad forks. Oh, yeah, and tablecloths. Yes, we have tablecloths. Well, that's interesting, because a tablecloth and a blanket are too different. <laughs> but what do I know? I'm just a sad, rich man lying on the floor. Why are you on the floor, sir? I slid off my couch and haven't gotten up yet. <laughs> and apparently there's no need to, as I'm not welcome in your tablecloths only establishment. I'm going to hang up the phone now, sir. Have a good evening. Hello, this is Chez Papillon. So how about if I don't wear my blanket, but I spread it across my lap like a giant napkin? <laughs> you don't see it, so I suppose you could get away with it, but it is not ideal. Yeah, that doesn't really work for me either. <laughs> What if I fold it up and tuck it under my shirt so it looks like a big belly, but I can just feel the fleeciness still on my skin? I suppose you could try to get away with that, but I would find it very frustrating. Okay. Oh, table cloths. <laughs> 